Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. I know you've probably seen from the thumbnail and you can see the sneaky colours here off the bag, but I finally made it to be an M. So if you're new to my channel, firstly, hi, welcome. Um, I've been saying this if you don't follow me on my Instagram and I think I've said it in a couple of my vlogs, but um, I've been not been to B&M basically since August because I had a baby in September and then we had complications so we had a really long stay in hospital and I'd seen everybody um on Instagram posting all these like amazing bits they'd find in B&M and I was having like major withdrawal symptoms so I was like collating a list of everything that I wanted like taking screenshots and I finally made it to B&M um so I thought I would do a haul because the last haul I'm pretty sure was in August on my channel so it is long overdue um and yeah we've got a big old bag i also popped into the range so i thought i would include some little bits um from there because they've got some really cute christmas decor um and christmas craft bits which is what i picked up for my children um so yeah we're gonna have a good old b&m haul today just disclaimer if you hear any cute little baby sounds in the background we've got little miss penelope who's asleep there in her cot she is going to be due a feed very shortly um so i thought i would get this done before her feed so let's jump straight into it um first up i know you've probably seen these all over instagram all over youtube but i managed to get my hands on the good old pumpkins from b m i actually have five of them i've just got three of them to show you um <clears throat> i'll link my vlog here like where I decorated for Halloween because I've got a big setup um, on my fireplace of them. But how amazing are these? So these larger ones were £4. This one was £4. But I mean the colour, look at the, um, can you see the little speckle on that? So cute. And then this size was £2. So I've got one in pink and one in the green of this size as well. But I just love those. As soon as I saw them on Instagram, I knew I had to have them. So I actually sent my mum out to pick those up while I was in hospital still. And she went to three B&Ms um, around Bristol to get them for me. So really glad she got those um and next up i saw these now they did have these i purchased these a couple of weeks ago but when i went the other night they had so many of these um so they're just like tea light holders but they are so heavy and they're three pounds um so they're kind of like an artichoke i think it's meant to be um but yeah i got two of them and i'm planning on sitting those on my radiator cover in the hallway but i just thought they were really really lovely and they are so heavy so if you see these in your B&M I highly recommend grabbing those now it's not in any particular order because I basically um needed a bit of everything so we'd completely run out of like washing bits cleaning products um my husband Tom was like ma holding down the fort at home and I know he popped in while I was in hospital and he just kind of was a bit like over I'm like what do you so I just said grab what you think if it's wrong it's fine I'm sure it'll be okay and then um when I got home I kind of like went through the cupboard and made a bit of a list but fun fact I actually forgot the list when I went to B&M so I was working from memory but there's a few bits that I didn't get um that I needed to get but I just kind of got like a bit excited that I was in B&M for the first time in literally two months um so I'm planning on popping to home bargains because again haven't been to home bargains since August so you know I'm hitting up all my favorite joints now that I'm free and out of hospital and I can introduce Miss Penny to all the all the good spots um so next up I picked up um one each if you've seen any of my other hauls you know I use this in all of my washes so it's the pink stuff oxy powder stain remover so I've got the one for colors I put this in with my dark um wash in um and any colors because my son honestly I don't know what he does but when he comes home from school he looks like he's literally just been sat in a mud puddle all day so I always pick that one up and then I get the one for white and these are 2.49 um I just highly recommend them for the price and they do work wonders if I have any like tougher stains I just soak them and um, there's instructions on the back to soak it in water for like a certain amount of time depending on how stubborn the stain is and yeah I just really really rate it um next up we got some uh, rim blocks for the toilet so I usually get like the double pack but this one was 3.49 I believe and it's five um and it's just the ocean breeze scent so yeah just nothing exciting to say but we got those um we also needed a new whisk so I picked up a silicone whisk so hopefully this one doesn't fall apart like the 
other ones that we've had and it was two pounds in a really cute like pink like pastel pink color so yeah that's that and then what have we got i'm just trying to see it's definitely not in any order so next yeah all of my plug-in refills had run out so literally i have like one in every room so i picked up this one i think it's yes yeah, it's a limited edition frosty berries um it's a twin pack so if you see you've got two in there and they're 4.49 so they're much better value for money than in the supermarkets oh it actually smells really nice i'm gonna get some more of these i didn't get any more because i obviously i sniffed it in the store but i thought i want to see how it actually um smells because sometimes they smell really nice on here i've had it before and then i've plugged it in and left it for like a couple of hours i'm like what is that smell i think it was one with like the pet one that i got um back last year and it smelled awful to me. it smelled like wee it was disgusting so i'm gonna put one of these in um see how it smells but i'll definitely get some more of these if it does smell like it smells on the little sniffer because that is lovely and then we picked up some Nutellas. It's half term at the moment, so I just picked these up as a bit of a treat for the kids. Um, I find they're better value for money when you get them in the twin pack like this. Um, and then we've got a big pack of Nerds. Both the kids love these. They've actually, I've just got the bags. It's been sitting in my kitchen since last night and that they've already cracked into them. So yeah, I never used to go to the sweet aisle in B&M. Um, but I always make a point of going there now for snacks and things because it is honestly it's so much cheaper than like a lot of the supermarkets. Um, next up, we just picked up some bleach for the toilets. I picked up this one. I don't know if I've had this before. I'm sure I must have done. Usually I get the um, pine one or the pink one in the heart pig. But I thought I would try this. It's citrus fresh and it just says it's 10 times better than bleach. Because I've noticed that um, there's a little bit of lime scale just around the rim in our upstairs toilet. So I thought I'd try a stronger one. So one for upstairs, one for downstairs. Um, and we needed a, another fabric conditioner. So I managed to pick up the Silk Tree Blossom in Wild. Um, this is my favourite one. I have got, I'll go and grab it actually because I picked it up before. But I did pick up, um, I think it's the Ocean or something like that. It is lovely but this one is my absolute favourite. And I do also put it in the spray bottle so that I can spray the sofa and furniture things like that so yeah i grabbed that one and this is 2.99 it's the larger one so it, it lasts for ages um but yeah pick that one up so here's the one that i've been using because i couldn't get my hands on this one or my husband couldn't i think he popped in when i was in hospital because we'd run out so he couldn't find this one so he grabbed this one this one is lovely um it does smell really lovely but just my preference is this so i did grab this when i saw it but just using this one up but also you can get the um in scent boosters that it's the same scent so i've got those as well so that is lovely when you pair them together the scent is so strong and then we also had run out of our tabs for us so i'm using the fairy tabs for penelope's washing my baby um but for all of our washing i like the aerial pods i used to use the gel um, and that was on offer in there actually but i went with this one so these were 9.99 there is 50 so it's the extra extra large pack and this is the one with the built-in oxy stain remover which like i said i need because my son i don't know what he does in his clothes but they come home and i'm like i did not send you to school like that so yeah i picked that up i didn't know if it was cheap or not um we were in there and we needed them so i just picked them up for 10 pounds but they do last me a while um so yeah i'm sure they're probably more expensive than that in the supermarket so we've got those and then i also um i didn't pick this up when i went in but they had loads of these now i actually had this for my baby shower because i wanted it to go in my daughter's nursery when it's done um it's just the good old famous rainbow i know you've probably seen these all over instagram but if you are from um bristol my sort of area i went to the store at cribs causeway and they had so many of these and they're three pound so i just think that's a steal really because they are so much more expensive than this when you buy them from like the little independent shops online but yeah i just love all the colors in there um what have we got next so next up totally random but um we used the vegan Heinz mayo and when we went shopping it was £4.49 for this size as well and I spotted it in B&M for £2 so 
if you're into your mayo, check out B&M because it's so much cheaper than the supermarket. What else have we got? Oh, a new brush. So I think I mentioned this in my haul in August, but I bought a couple of these. Um, so they're kind of like a dupe on the wet brush. So I've got the green and the purple. They're $1.99, but they are amazing. Honestly, they will rival the wet brush and they're a fraction of the price. So I found this on one of the end aisles just hanging up. It was where like all the shampoo was, but it wasn't in that. So I don't know if they're like a special or something, but while I saw them, I grabbed them because our brushes in this house seem to go walkabouts. Um, I also picked up this tub. So I only got one because I'm going to see how I get on with it because usually I get them from um, Ikea, but I not, don't need to go to Ikea, so um, I just grabbed this. So it's £4, pound, um, and it's the vacuum storage with airtight lid. But I just wanted it for my pastas because I don't keep them in the packaging. So it's really easy to open, actually, and it's a really good size. So I'm going to see how I get on with that. But they had loads and loads of different sizes of these. And they also had, which I'm going to get when I go again, is some fridge storage with a little handle on the end. So you can kind of, like, pull it out. Because I like to keep um, a lot of things in the fridge in, the, like, their own containers. I just find it keeps for longer and it's just easier to keep it all organised. So, yeah, I grabbed that one. Um, and then we got some ironing water, my favourite. I always use this when I'm doing the ironing, so I picked that up. It's a pound. Um, some snacks that have been broken into. So my daughter decided she loves whispers, so they had a big pack, so we got those. I think these were one ninety nine for nine bars. Um, and then we got some Tang Faz Tricks Haribo. Um, oh and then these actually my husband was bringing these in for me when I was in the hospital and he was picking them up I think from Morrison's and they come in a four pack so I spotted these um and it's a 10 pack of the Nature Valley Crunch bars it's just one flavor though I know in the ones that's, that have the four pack you get a mixture of flavors so these are just the Canadian maple syrup which I do really like um so it's a pack of 10 but there's two bars in each pack if that makes sense and they're 249 so honestly that is so cheap like so cheap i think they're 2.99 for a pack of four um i think he paid um i also picked up these Zeta wipes so i don't use these very often because we tend to just use like um towels and things when we're cleaning just so we can it's just obviously easier uh, we go through a lot but obviously i can pop them in the washing machine rather than just throw them out um but for the toilets and things i do like to use the wipes the anti-back wipes now these are biodegradable from dettol and it's limited edition winter breeze i haven't smelt them yet but let's have a little where's the opening let's have a little smart oh i can smell them actually through the pack oh yeah that's lovely very wintry kind of like the festive smell 105 wipes in there and they were 1.99 and then i picked up some strawberry creams i don't i just love anything strawberry when um we get the quality streets of roses i always go for the strawberry creams so i saw these and grabbed those and then we've got a pack of chocolate coins a pound and then last up, I just picked some kitchen roll up. I know I mentioned this before, but I did pick up a pack of the Fabulous ones, but they smell amazing. The scent, you could kind of like smell them in the aisle, but they're awful. They literally fall apart. Um, like I said, a bit like with the wipes, we don't use um, the kitchen towels very often, um, but I just like to have it there in case I need it. So we do use like the towels that we can just pop, pop in the wash, microfiber cloths, things like that. Um, but yeah, I just find these are really good value for money and they're really strong. 2 99 for three um, rolls and they're the kind of like tall giant rolls. So yeah, grabbed those. So that is everything from B and M. Like I said, I'm gonna pop to hang bargains and probably back to B&M this weekend because there's a few other bits that I want to pick up that I missed. So I'll be taking my list with me. But I just wanted to show you what I picked up in the range. So what I want to do, we don't actually send Christmas cards to our family um, at Christmas time. We donate to a charity um, because I was finding that we were both from like a really large family. And we were spending like 40 to 50 pounds on Christmas cards that were then going in recycling. So what... Um, we do a lot of my family do as well tom's family still sends cards but we just all donate to a charity i think last year we donated to the homeless charity and the, the money went to um pay for like giving everyone a christmas dinner on christmas day at the shelters so yeah we'll be doing that this year but the kids wanted to send cards so what i thought 
is they could make their own. So I popped to the range and I picked up um, a pack of cards. So they're blank cards and em with envelopes since they're 10 packs. So we might need to get a few more because like I said, we, I've got a very large family. Um, and they were at 2 .99. And then I just got some little crafty bits that the kids can choose what they want to obviously like decorate it with. So we've got some, they've got some like lovely markers and things that they had last Christmas, but they had, this all ranged from like 79p up to about £1.49, but they had some really cute stickers. So these are just kind of like an example, but they did have a few different designs. Um, and you get, how many did you get in here? One, two, three. You get at least 15 different size stickers in there. And I think they were 79p. I then also picked up the silver glitter, it says with love at Christmas, so just like little wooden um, motifs that you can stick on, obviously you can use their glue gun to stick those on, I think they were 149 and then I also got them the Ho Ho Ho, this is in the blush colour, so obviously if they want to, Darcy will probably use these, but they're really really cute and you get six in each pack. Um, we then got some felt gingerbread stickers, there's four in there, so you actually peel the back off of these and they stick on. Um, I got two packs of those actually because there was only four in there so they've got eight of those. So I thought we'll see how we go with that and then I can always pop back because it's so inexpensive. And then I also got some black and gold Lux Christmas stickers, so again these just peel off. But how lovely are those trees? Let me just put it over my face and you can see some reindeers some little snowflakes so cute um so i might get another pack of these and then i also just randomly grabbed for when the good old elf comes back at christmas i picked up a magical secret message pen i'm just talking quietly because the kids are downstairs um and i think this was 1.99 but they had a whole section um of like where they do their own version of the elf and like so many different things so i'm gonna pop back up when i'm not with them because i managed to sneak this in um but yeah i need to i what i like to do before that time of year is i write a list of what he's gonna do each night um and then darcy saw this little yes yeah, so it's the only christmas decoration i bought i need to get in the loft we have literally s more than enough so i'm trying this year to be really good and not buy stuff for the sake of it but yeah she saw this and it will look lovely in her bedroom it's kind of like that really lovely pastel pink and it says excellent and look at it, the little gonk beard i honestly i'm a sucker for anything with a gonk on um but 249 and it's wooden how lovely i mean you can't go wrong for things like that i was looking for one if they had one in like colors that ollie would like but i didn't see um so i'm going to pop back up in a few weeks time and see if they've got anything else but yeah that's everything that i picked up in the range like i said it was more like crafting bits and pieces for the children um but yeah i highly recommend the range they had so many different sections they had like tape um washi tape different craft bits and pieces so i'm definitely going to go back up because i think they'll enjoy doing that and obviously i don't mind and i think it means a little bit more when the cards are handmade um so yeah that's everything i got in the range so that's it for my haul this week. I hope you enjoyed. It's been so long since I've had a haul on my channel, so I was really excited to get it filmed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I need to know I'm so behind this year on Christmas. Usually I've got like things already in place, but because of having Penny, um, she came early and then we've had so many complications after. It's just kind of like throwing me and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's literally November next week and I'm so disorganized. So I'm gonna make a point to get organize this year and obviously i'll start showing it on my channel like i did last year i might link actually here my christmas um playlist for last year there's lots of hauls um ideas things like that so i'm gonna do that because obviously like i said i'm behind this year um but yeah without further ado i'll leave it there because otherwise i'll chat forever and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone we both said some awful words and i know that we both got her but i want to be with you i want to be with you we can let this slip away, you know that I want you to stay Cause I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you